What's up guys? Thank you for tuning in to one of my videos. My name is Yadrissa. Welcome to Pretty Press One Plug. And if you are new here, I like to do detailed um, nail tutorials on my page. But for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this Valentine's Day inspired custom glitter mix that I'm sure I'm going to show you guys today a detailed tutorial on how I mix my Valentine's Day inspired glitter mix so this little containers that I'm going to, that I'm going to be using today and I like these containers um because they're nice and small I did not want to make a big batch of these glitters I just wanted to have some Valentine's Day inspired glitter just for um me creating different nail sets if anybody was interested in um because I am a nail tech as well and I like to create different sets you know for clients as well so I'm just showing you the colors that I'm going to be using today these are my chunky glitters that I'm going to be using today and these are all the glitters that I'm going to be using for um, the first batch of Valentine's Day glitter and these are also my nail sequins sequins that I have here these are some hollow hearts and I do have some regular full um, sequence hearts. And these are my little kiss prints, um, nail decals sequence as well, that I'm going to incorporate in uh, some of these um, Valentine's Day mixes that I'm gonna show you guys throughout this video. So I am gonna be using my cuticle pusher just to scoop some of that glitter out and into my little small container that I am mixing my little um, glitter mix. So for that first print, that first color, um, that first color is like a um, like a champagne, like a rose gold kind of color. So I did go ahead and do two scoops of that first color, and then for the second one, this is like a fuchsia pink. So I'm going to go in with two um, scoops of that as well, and just going in with school two scoops from each glitter mix. And this is that holographic um, silver color. And for next, I'm going in with this soft pink. And this is also, well, all of these glitters are my chunky glitters. So they do have fine glitters mixed in between, but they are all holographic. And this is my purple chunky glitter that I'm mixing in with that as well and just mixing that all in with my cuticle pusher that I'm just using to scoop up everything and if you are wondering um in between each time that I do scoop into a next color a different color a different glitter I am I do go ahead and wipe my brush off because I do not want to mix any of the glitters and um, with any of the other colors so I was just showing you my nail sequence that I decided I wanted to um, add into this glitter mix. So what I was doing is with the hollow hearts and the, the regular hearts in here, I was looking for the same colors that I have inside the glitter mix already. And I was just going ahead and scooping some of those nail sequins, those hearts into my glitter mix. And like I said before, I didn't want to add too much of those, um, too much of the glitter mix of any of the colors because I did want to have a even blend of each of the colors and each of the nail sequins and chunky glitters as well. So that's why I did just go ahead and do two scoops of each of these colors. And I'm just going in when I do go in with the little um, sequins hearts, I am putting about maybe eight to 10 or maybe seven to eight to 10 um, of each of those colors that I'm using. And I also have the little kiss prints as well that I'm going to be, I believe I'm gonna be adding to this um, first glitter mix. So as you can see, I'm just going back into that um, nail decals. And this is the hollow hearts that I have here. And I'm just gonna be taking that silver holographic color and I'm just gonna be taking those. And I say hollow hearts. Because even though these are hearts, the middle of the hearts are cut out for these sequins on this side. Um, on the other opposite side of the sequins, it has the regular, um, you know, size hearts. 
Shea Parts. And these are the swatch sticks that I'm gonna be using to swatch each of the glitter mixes that I make here in today's video. So you guys can see the finished product and how it does look, um, you know, after I do the glitter mix. So this is my Mia Secret Clear uh, Acrylic Powder and I'm gonna be using my Mia Secret Monomer as well for this video. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my brush and I'm just going to be applying some of that clear acrylic to my nail my nail swatch stuff just a little thin layer there and then I'm just going to be going in with my glitter mix so I'm just placing that glitter mix on top and I'm not trying to um, push it down too too much like too hard I'm just making sure I was trying to like evenly spread it out so when I turn the nail around to show you guys that it is an even coat and you guys can see all the colors basically and how um you know how the glitter mix looks I did decide I wanted to add a little bit more because when I did turn around it looked a little bit sparse in some areas and it looked blank on you know kind of blank in some areas so I was just trying to fill it in with some more of that glitter acrylic so now what I'm going to be doing after I apply my glitter mix I'm just going to be going back over the top with my clear acrylic and I'm just going to top that and encapsulate that all together and this is the finished look for that first glitter mix and I was just giving you guys just a close-up of those colors so you can really see how they came out and in between as I'm doing each of the colors I am going to be just topping them and just making sure they're fully closed so for this one I'm just going to be going in with this red chunky glitter and I'm going to go in with this silver holographic chunky glitter as well and I'm just going to be doing two scoops of these two colors um I more so wanted this one to be like red and white I was trying to get that effect so these are my holographic white hearts and um they do have like a pastel undertone excuse me and I'm going in with some of those um hollow red hearts as well and I'm going in with that silver holographic chunky I'm, I'm sorry not chunky the hollow hearts basically just gonna grab a couple of those and put it in there and for this one I just wanted to be kind of like just red and white that's what I was trying to achieve with this color with this um, glitter mix for this one so these are my kiss prints as you can see I was trying to show you guys a close-up so I'm gonna go ahead with some of those red lips little kiss prints and I'm just gonna grab a scoop of those as well and mix it right in I'm not going to do too much of the kiss prints but I did want to mix it up and I am going to go in with some of those red solid hearts as you can see these are not the ones that have the middle cut out so again I'm just going to be mixing all of that um all of the glitters that I just mixed into this I'm going to be um just mixing everything together so everything is you know properly mixed and I'm going back in with my clear acrylic onto my swatch stick I'm going to be applying just a thin layer so that that um glitter mix has something to stick to and I can show you guys the colors so I'm just going ahead and just applying that directly to my swatch stick and like I said I'm just trying to cover the whole um, swatch stick basically so when I turn the nail around of course you guys can you know see clear and get a good feel of the glitter mixes that I did um, go ahead and mix for this mix. And if you are new here, thank you for tuning into my channel. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe um, if you have not done so already. And hit that bell notification while you're at it because, you know, you want to be notified when I upload any of my new videos here. You don't have to wait and, you know, you can see it as soon as I post these videos. So now, um, like I did before, I'm just going to be taking that same glitter, I mean, that same clear acrylic. And I'm just going to go over the top just to encapsulate but glitter mix that I just mixed up together just to make sure everything stays in place. Here's a close up of that glitter mix. 
So for my next set of glitter mix, I'm just going to be using these colors that I'm going to be showing you guys here. I'm going to be starting off with that pink, like fuchsia pink color. Taking two scoops of that chunky glitter, two scoops of this silver holographic glitter. Oh no, I think that was just one scoop of that one. And this soft pink that I'm going to be adding as well. And I did go ahead and add some of that rose gold color. I just wanted this glitter mix to be um, just different shades of pinks. So that's what I was trying to achieve here. I'm going to go in with my fuchsia pink hollow hearts. I'm going to go in with this pink shade as well and I'm just going to go and get some of these rose gold hollow hearts as well and also some of these silver holographic mix I mean excuse me hearts so that's what I do like about just doing any type of glitter mixes because you can really literally just make your own colors of any um you know any colors that you want it's all about you just being creative and what color combinations you think would look really really good together so that's what i was trying to do here just think of what i think what colors would look good together so that's what i was trying to achieve here and the reason why i just wanted to do it on a swatch tip is because you can see it a lot better when you put it onto the swatch tip aside from me just showing you the glitter mix up close after i mix it together you can't really really see too much just the colors and the different sequins and the chunky glitters and the kiss prints and the hollow hearts and you know you can't really see it too well when you just it just looks like a big mesh of colors so that's why i decided to go ahead and just show you guys on a swatch stick how those colors look and how beautiful they came out um, I really did enjoy creating this video and I have so many different other glitter mix ideas that I do want to um, do another video on for Valentine's Day. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that as well. I just think that it's just so many different color combinations that you can do related to Valentine's Day. Aside from just red and pink, you know, just your standard um, red and pink that you always see for Valentine's Day. I feel like you can incorporate other colors as well for Valentine's Day. It's just all about how you do it, you know? Let me know what you guys think of any, if you guys know any, excuse me, what color do you guys think that would be nice and, you know, look good together for a glitter mix? Um, you can go ahead and leave your comments down in the comment section of any colors that you think that would look good for Valentine's Day that I should do a glitter mix. Um, you know, incorporate in these different glitter colors and, you know, designs or sequins or anything like that. What you think that I should, um, what colors do you think that I should put together next? This is the next set of colors that I'm going to be using for my next glitter mix. So I'm going to go in with this blue shade. This is, reminds me of like a baby blue because it is like a soft blue. Um, and it's kind of like a transparent blue. So this is the dark blue that I'm going to be using, the dark blue holographic um, chunky glitter. I'm just going to be adding two scoops of that as you see there. And then for the next color, I'm going in with that silver holographic. I just, and then I'm gonna go in with some of that turquoise holographic color as well. I just think that when you are doing different glitter mixes that, like I said, you can be creative, but I decided that I wanted to, to, to do a blue glitter mix, even though that's not really something that you really see for um, Valentine's Day. But I just thought, hey, I have some, um, you know some blue hearts so i might as well just do a dedicated blue um glitter mix as well um i did really like how this blue glitter mix came out um i do wish i had a little bit of lighter shades of blue i think that would have really made it stand out just a little bit more and as you can see i'm going in and i'm just going to be grabbing some of those light blue um holographic 
hollow hearts and just adding that to my glitter mix it's just like all the blues that i have here in turquoise i was just adding a little bit of each of those to this glitter mix as you can see this is a different shade of blue um this looks like a turquoise color just grabbing a couple of those and just adding it in i am really enjoying <laughs> just making different glitter mixes and i decided to do it as a glitter mix instead of an acrylic because i just didn't want to make a big batch um i didn't feel like i would really use this that much only for like certain sets or if it was requested or if it's something i was trying to showcase to you guys or do a nail set dedicated to valentine's day using these glitters i would just use these um unless a client has request these um colors then i will of course make a bigger batch if it was like high in demand and if something that i was using all of the time you know then i will of course make a glitter um acrylic out of it instead of just making it as a glitter mix i think this blue really really turned out cute these different color blues i think they really complement each other because they're just different shades and tones of blues just like i did the different um colors of that pink as well earlier in the video yeah, sometimes you just have to think outside the box as far as just with your colors. Just go with the flow, whatever you like, you know, whatever you decide that you want to create. You know, just create it. Just be creative and, you know, don't really worry about too much what other people think. You're just doing it to your likings and you're just showcasing what it is that you enjoy doing and just sharing with the world how you do different things, how you make different things. And a lot of people have different um, styles, yes, but a lot of people does have a style that is um, more so similar to you. And that's why they gravitate towards you and it's either how you speak or um, just some things that you're interested in or just how you carry yourself or just how you do certain things. They really, really enter um, into you and just how you do certain things and it reminds them of themselves and they just enjoy you and the content that you put out. So don't worry about being judged. Don't worry about people not liking anything that you put out. Don't worry about your content. Just make sure each time that you do put out content that you just put your best foot forward um i know i'm just rambling a little bit um throughout this video but this video is repetitive of just me mixing different colors of um different glitter acrylics valentine's day excuse me valentine's day glitter acrylics so i didn't um want to just go on and keep saying you know just Oh, I'm adding this color. I'm adding this color. I'm, not, you know, that I, I wouldn't even want to hear that in the video. So I was trying not to do that for each of the glitter um, colors that I was adding. Just chime in from here and there, just showing you guys just the different colors. I really like how that one looked. These are some colors that I did off of camera and this is a close-up of all of the glitter mixes that i did i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like comment and subscribe hit that bell notification and also connect with me on my other social media platforms pretty underscore press on underscore plug is my name on all of my social media platforms on facebook instagram tiktok and of course here on youtube on youtube you will see all my detailed tutorials on other looks that i do post on my other social media platforms so stay tuned for more video comes more videos to come excuse me and go ahead and check out some of my other videos i have posted here on my channel already and follow me on my other social media platforms i hope to see you guys in the next video i hope you subscribe to my channel and become a part of my um yeah just a supporter love you guys later